Hello, let's just jump right into it. Today we are going to be creating silly and inspirational posters using, of course, you guessed it, crayons. So let's just get right into it and do some sketching. So lately I've been thinking that I need just a little bit of my own inspiration to maybe sprinkle around in some rooms where I work, work out, stare at the wall. So I wanted to come up with some really silly inspirational quotes or things to inspire me. And I, of course I want to make them silly and fun and have art to go along with them. So I wanted to think of some silly quotes. First up we have, as temporary as a fart. Whatever hard situation you are going through, it will be gone and blown away in the wind, just like a fart. Like a fart, this will pass. A little bit too similar to this too shall pass. So I think the one quote I came up with that I liked the most, a little shorter, a little sweeter, rhymed a little bit more, is like a gas, this will pass. Another quote I quite liked was, um, doing okay is better than no okay. I guess the quote is sort of like, can't complain, I'm doing okay. This one's another short and silly one. It's glow up, don't give up. Now, this isn't a quote I came up with, obviously, but this is one that I definitely want to do an illustration for. I want the classic hang in there poster with a cat you know, hanging off of a branch, but I thought it would be funny if I made it very dramatic, like maybe the cat is hanging over a fire and it is, you know, oh wow. Okay, this is why I can't talk and write at the same time, nobody look. Another silly short one, you know, just, just to be a little encouraging, but also a little cynical, we have, at least you tried. So now that we have our quotes, I do want to do some quick thumbnails of these. Starting off with hang in there. I definitely want a very silly, extreme looking cat. And it's just gonna be like avoiding flames that are just, just a blaze right above the cat. Now, are we gonna have the word gas as a fart? Maybe. So I'll make it all flowy and fluffy like gas. So we can have like our dog looking really dumb. With his tongue coming out. Now, at least you tried. Okay, we definitely need some sort of someone giving a thumbs up or someone being proud of themselves. Ooh, a gold star. Okay, let's see. A gold star is definitely something that is very, you know, really play with color. Maybe like rainbow, who knows? Oh, I love blending rainbow. Maybe we should do rainbow. I think I'm definitely the most excited about the hang in there poster. It just seems really silly and fun to do my take. Looking forward to working on these and um, before we do, <laughs> I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. That's right, the online learning community by creatives for creatives just like you and me. We all know you've been wanting to try that one thing, so why not go to Skillshare, take a class, try it, learn it, baking, illustration, painting, you name it. Creating these silly inspirational posters was something I've been wanting to do, but Sarah Beth Morgan really, really I think helped me open up with being a little bit more positive with her self-care through creativity, turning your anxiety into art. It's no mystery that I can definitely be a negative person. So I really looked at this class as a way to sort of spin my negative thoughts into positive messages. And I wanted to really create these silly posters that I could maybe turn into merch for my store. I think they turned out really fun. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership Skillshare. Otherwise, a premium membership is less than $10 a month. So what are you waiting for? Go out and learn something. In the meantime, I'm going to create these posters. Start 
starting off with our classic hang in there poster. I was really excited about this one because I wanted to make it dramatic, of course. I do think that illustrations are definitely the best when you exaggerate things and make them super silly, super ridiculous. So of course, instead of having just a kitten hanging off a branch, we have a kitten hanging off a branch over a fire. So as I intro this video, originally I was going to make this a crayon video because as you guys know, 2021 is the year of the crayon. But when I started to think about how I wanted to color this illustration, I actually broke out my watercolors and I also broke out colored pencils. Next thing you know, this is a mixed media illustration of all sorts of crazy material, which was a little unfortunate because I I did not bust out my watercolor paper. I originally was going to use crayons, so I didn't use watercolor paper. So this paper wasn't exactly the most fit for watercolors, so it definitely got a little curly. It dried super fast, which meant the watercolors weren't as smooth as I wanted them to be. But you know what? I was really embracing the whole textured thing because crayons are super textured, and I've been kind of trying to embrace a loose messy style. So I tried not to let that bother me. I layered some crayons on top of the watercolor just to add the texture that I wanted to it. And from there, I decided that it would actually be the best if I were to line this illustration with colored pencil instead of crayon. One of the things I don't really like about crayon is that it's really hard to get details or fine points. So I knew that using the colored pencils for the finer details was definitely going to be the best best option. So I put a flat wash of watercolor for the sky and then I moved on to various details with crayons and colored pencils. The biggest thing I had to keep in mind with this illustration was that I had to layer the certain materials in a certain order because the crayons couldn't exactly go on top of the colored pencils because they would smudge it. But also the colored pencils had a hard time layering on top of the crayons because they were basically just scratching away the thick waxy layer until I got to the paper. So there were times where I definitely regretted putting down crayon first. There were definitely times when I regretted putting down pencil first. The tree didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but I also got some very interesting texture with it. So I can also appreciate that. I really had to consider how I wanted to put the words on this illustration. And at first I was just going to layer crayon or leave the page white. And then I thought it would actually be really interesting if I were to layer the pencil on top of crayon. And then also by mistake, it created this really interesting smudgy looking effect that actually looked like it was in flames. So I really leaned into the pencil, not being able to layer on top of the crayon and use that to my benefit. So here it is, our very dramatic and a little bit terrifying hang in there poster. I think it turned out really colorful, very bright, very dramatic. And I'm really tempted to turn this one into a print for my shop. our second poster, I definitely felt like I learned a lot about how to use the crayons and the colored pencils and the watercolor all together. Going into this particular piece, I knew I wanted to make a rainbow out of the crayons because I really enjoy the texture and blending crayons together, especially when making a rainbow. These crayons are so saturated and bright and colorful and I really, I guess I'm just really enjoying 
bright, colorful colors right now. So to start this illustration, I put a very, very light gray wash of color onto the cat in the middle. I didn't want it to be too dark because I wanted to make sure that this character in the middle really stood out with all of the colors around it. But I also wanted the text box in this piece to be white. Gave it some stripes just to give it a little bit of more visual interest. And then it was time to put down that rainbow. And even though it really made my hand hurt because working with these short crayons hurts my hand, I had so much fun layering them and blending them and creating this super saturated rainbow around this character. This is definitely not something I normally create super saturated colors, bright, a rainbow, but I gotta say it looks incredible and I really like it. Now the thought of using watercolors to create the rainbow definitely crossed my mind because I knew they would be easier to blend, but I had to remind myself that I was not using watercolor paper and the watercolors dried so fast on this paper that it was so hard to get a flat wash and creating a gradient was definitely not something that I wanted to tackle on a paper that did not work with the material. So keep that in mind everybody if you are using materials that don't work with certain papers maybe that's why you're struggling. Anyways, after my hand was super cramping and you might be asking yourself, Casey, why didn't you use those twistable crayons that are long and easy to hold? Well, those crayons are actually very not bright and colorful. They're very pastel-y. These normal crayons have such high saturation that I really wanted to make sure I got the full color. So after the rainbow was complete, I line arted the character, added our details, wrote the text in, almost rain out of room. That was almost a disaster. And of course added a colorful flair to the word tried because honestly I think it just really brings it all together having the word tried as a rainbow. And then it was time to add some final details. I did think that this piece was already very intense and colorful and crazy but I wanted to add some line work around the colored bits that just added that extra intenseness and it was done. This piece is so colorful colorful and intense and the message is really funny and silly but also sort of encouraging. Definitely another piece I might be turning into a print. I do know that I will definitely be hanging this piece up for me to look at and uh, hopefully get inspired. third and final motivational poster. This is definitely the one that has the silliest message and of course it's got the silliest illustration because it is farts. You guys know I had to make a fart illustration. As soon as I came up with some sort of a message that hinted at farts, I had to make it work. Sadly, this is probably my least favorite of the three illustrations, but I think the message is silly enough that I will probably display this proudly somewhere in my home to inspire me, to help me look past the hard times and let me know that this will pass just like gas. Maybe this piece is cursed because it was a dog illustration instead of a cat. Either way, it is a very cute concept. I think that maybe it just wasn't simple and bold enough like the other two that I didn't quite like it as much. So once again, I started off with watercolor. I did the stripes of the wallpaper, the base of the carpet, and this time I actually did the dog as well. I really contemplated if I wanted to do the dog or not, but the browns that I had to color in the dog with my crayons were just too gosh darn dark. 
added some details with the colored pencil and I focused, really focused the main attraction of the fart with the crayons and I am just so impressed with how transparent the crayons are. That probably sounds like the opposite of what you want with an art material. You probably want to be able to cover things and layer things and have bold colors. I'm not sure if it's just that this really light green color was super transparent or if it's just that the nature of the these crayons are transparent, but either way, this was the absolute best and perfect material to create a fart that layered over a striped background. I mean, look how perfect it is. Now I know what you're thinking, Casey, watercolor is transparent. Why don't you just use watercolor to create the fart? Well, watercolor also has the ability to reactivate the watercolor under it. So if I were to put this light green over this striped blue, those blue stripes would definitely reactivate with the water and then smudge all over the place. That is not the case with the crayons. I think the best part about these twistable crayons also is that they don't seem to smear, which is very strange. If I were to layer a normal crayon with those colored penciled lines, they definitely would have smudged a lot. But because I use the twistable crayons, they don't seem to smudge other materials. I don't know why, but I was very appreciative of that. And the transparent effect is just so perfect. It almost looks like I used two Two different colors, one to go over the white parts and one to hint at a sort of green-blue color, but nope, I just used a green that layered over the watercolor perfectly and created the perfect transparent fart cloud. How long have I been talking about how great this fart cloud turned out? Not long enough. So there they are, our three motivational posters created by yours truly. And before I go, a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Check it out, learn some stuff, take some classes, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay golden. Bye.